highway to health. Learning about some infectious diseases and prevention of diseases. Some infectious diseases. Infectious diseases are classified on the basis of their causative agent, that is, bacteria or virus. Bacterial disease. Tuberculosis. According to a survey, tuberculosis is the largest single cause of adult illness and death from a communicable disease in the world. It is caused by bacteria called Mycobacterium tuberculosis. These bacteria usually attack lungs but can also attack any part of the body such as the kidney, bone, spine and brain. If not treated properly, TB can be fatal. Tuberculosis spreads through the air from one person to another via droplets. The bacteria enter into the air when a person with active TB disease of the lungs coughs or sneezes, shouts or spits. Tiny droplets of saliva or mucus are expelled into the air which infects the people nearby. Some signs and symptoms of tuberculosis Bad cough that lasts 3 weeks or longer Wet loss Coughing up blood or mucus Fever and chills Prevention Infants should be given BCG vaccine TB patients should always cover their mouth while coughing or sneezing The patient should use a spitting containing household germicide for spitting. Once the treatment is started, the person becomes non-infectious and keep his job and stay with his family. However, medicines must be taken regularly to be sure of a cure. In six months, the person is fully cured. Measures taken by the government to control the spread of tuberculosis. The Health Ministry works at various levels like national, state, district, taluka and village level to educate people and help them overcome tuberculosis. It is necessary that the suspected person should get oneself checked by visiting DOT Center. Typhoid It is an infectious, life-threatening disease caused by bacteria, that is, Salmonella typhi. It is contracted by ingestion of contaminated food or water. The bacteria survive in unhygienic conditions and spread through stools and vomit of patients. It follows fecal oral route and is transmitted directly by the contaminated hands of the patient or the carrier. These bacteria can survive in soil and water for several months. Signs and Symptoms The patient experiences loss of appetite, abdominal pain, headache, body ache, nausea, rash on the stomach and diarrhea. The fever is usually as high as 104 degree Fahrenheit. The fever is high in the afternoon. Prevention Generating awareness about clean and safe drinking water, sanitation, clean hygienic habits, eating covered food. Vaccination gives protection for three years. Viral disease Hepatitis Hepatitis is an inflammation of the liver that can be caused by a group of viruses. There are five main hepatitis viruses referred to as type A, B, C, D and E. Hepatitis A, B and C are contagious. Hepatitis is more common and serious in India. Hepatitis B and C are the most common cause of liver failure and liver cancer. Virus of Hepatitis B and Hepatitis C are transmitted by infected blood. Signs and Symptoms The symptoms of Hepatitis include jaundice, 
that is yellowing of the skin and eyes dark yellow urine extreme fatigue nausea vomiting and abdominal pain loss of appetite and white or clay colored stools prevention hepatitis a and b through vaccination no vaccine is available for hepatitis c and hepatitis e since hepatitis d occurs only in persons with active hepatitis b the vaccine of hepatitis b prevents hepatitis d one must follow good hygienic practices and wash hands thoroughly after using the toilet and before eating before transfusion blood should be screened for the absence of hepatitis b and hepatitis c virus rabies rabies is a preventable viral disease of mammals most often transmitted through bite of a rabid animal rabies virus infects wild as well as domestic animals especially dogs it affects the central nervous system signs and symptoms symptoms of rabies usually develop after an incubation period of 10 days then two stages in the development of the symptoms headache fever depression loss of appetite sometimes itching or pain at the site of bite 2 to 10 days later the signs of damage to the nervous system appear the patient experiences anxiety hypersalivation disorientation hallucination seizure paralysis spasm of the throat muscles hydrophobia and difficulty in swallowing death may be sudden due to cardiac or respiratory arrest prevention vaccination unlike other immunizations the rabies vaccine is administered exposure to virus this unusual technique is successfully because the virus takes long time that is minimum 10 days to induce disease most valuable preventive measure is through cleaning of the site of wound by soap and water polio myelitis you must have seen children with paralyzed limbs walking on crutches and even sorry for them have you ever wondered why they are in such a condition are they born like this the answer is no the disease that has paralyzed their limbs permanently is polio myelitis that is polio It is a highly infectious viral disease mainly affecting young children. The virus follows fecal oral route. It multiplies in the intestine and then invades the nervous system. Polio virus is found only in human beings. Symptoms: fever, fatigue, headache, vomiting, stiffness in the neck, pain in the limbs. and permanent paralysis of the limbs usually legs prevention there is no cure for polio it can only be prevented oral polio vaccine given multiple times can protect a child for life pulse polio immunization campaign 
Pulse Polio is an immunization campaign established by the government of India in 1994 to eradicate polio in India. All children under the age of 5 are vaccinated annually against polio virus. This campaign also works by generating awareness about the disease. Pulse polio uses oral vaccine because it is easy to administer, inexpensive, reaches intestine directly and prevents multiplication of disease-causing virus. AIDS You must have seen or heard about AIDS awareness campaign carried out by the government and other social organizations too. Let us see why everyone is so much concerned about it. AIDS stands for Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. Acquired means you can get the infection from someone who already has it. Immune deficiency means a weakness in the body system that fights disease. Syndrome means a group of health problems that make a disease. AIDS is a medical condition caused by a virus called human immunodeficiency virus. That is HIV. One-time infection by this virus can weaken the immune system to a point that the system becomes too weak to fight off infections which are usually controlled by a healthy immune system. Spread of AIDS Unprotected sex with an infected person Direct contact with infected blood Sharing of needles, which is common in drug abusers, introduces the virus from one individual to the other. An AIDS-infected mother can transfer the disease to the baby. Blood transfusion Signs and symptoms Due to weakened immune system can also cause unusual conditions like lymphoma of brain which causes fever and troubled thinking and cancer of tissues called Kaposi's sarcoma, which causes brown red spots on the skin. Symptoms may vary from person to person. Blood tests such as ELISA are performed to diagnose the disease. Prevention Avoid sexual contact with infected person. Use disposable syringes and needles. Avoid common razors in the barber's shop, sharing of toothbrushes, etc. Before receiving blood transfusion, one should ensure that it has been screened for HIV. People are to be educated about transmission of AIDS. Diarrhea Can be caused by a bacteria, virus, parasite or an allergic reaction. Diarrhea is loose watery stools. It could be due to infection or due to specific food intolerances. Lack of personal and domestic hygiene is the most common cause of diarrhea. Signs and symptoms Frequent loose motions accompanied by abdominal pain and cramps bloating, vomiting, watery stools and dehydration. Dehydrations Diarrhea can cause dehydration which means that the body has lost too much fluid and electrolytes. Signs of dehydration include thirst, less urination, dry skin, fatigue, light headache, no tears while crying and sunken abdomen. The loss of valuable electrolytes from the body can be fatal. Prevention Eatables should be covered to prevent contamination. Fruits and vegetables should be properly washed before consumption. Hands should be washed before eating and after visiting a toilet. Water should be boiled and kept covered in a clean vessel. 
So that is all in this topic student. Take care of your health and remember health is wealth.